Hello, uh, welcome to Code with Vijay. My name is Vijaynath Vishwanathan. I'm uh, working as senior software engineer. And uh, this is my personal blog, codewithvijay.com. You can find me on LinkedIn, uh, GitHub, and uh, Twitter as well. Today, uh, we'll see how we can version uh, files in S3. Uh, if you are new to S3, uh, please go and uh, see couple of my introduction course on S3. Basically, in that course, I've given a very good introduction of uh, what S3 means, what are the different features of S3, and how we can upload files to S3. So, uh, if you're new, please hold a second uh, and go to my YouTube channel and subscribe my videos, and you know, please watch uh, S3 introduction course before before proce proceeding further, because this course is uh, basically the continuation of uh, other course. So in my YouTube channel, you can see uh, introduction to Amazon Simple Storage Service. It is Amazon S3 and how to upload files to S3. So those uh, two are the beginner courses or prerequisites to proceed with this one. So now let's jump uh, straight into AWS console. So let me uh, sign into uh, the console. So I have uh, logged into my AWS console. Uh, if you come down further, you can see uh, S3 under storage section. So let me click on that. It will take me to S3 homepage. Okay, and uh, this is AWS new console. If you want to switch to old console, you can uh, click there and then it will take you to uh, old console. So in my previous course on how to upload files to S3, actually I've used the mixture of both uh, old and new console, but here I'm going to use uh, just um, new console. So uh, before proceeding with proceeding further with uh, versioning, I'll quickly show uh, once again how how we can create create bucket. But you know here here I'm using only new console, not old console to create bucket. So the way to create bucket is you now click on this one create bucket okay so there there we have to enter a bucket name as i've mentioned in my previous course bucket name should be uh, unique across okay so if somebody for example say if somebody else given uh already already has a bucket called test then probably you can't not probably you can't create a bucket called test why because the bucket name should be or bucket name is uh unique across globally okay so let me create a bucket. Let me try a name. Uh, VJ Nath. Okay. And this is my uh, default location. That is London. And if I want to copy uh, settings from or settings from one of my existing buckets, I can do that here. But I'm leaving it uh, as such because I don't want to copy anything from my existing bucket. I'm creating it all new. Hopefully this bucket will be available. Uh, click next. Yeah, fortunately uh, that name is uh, available. So now I'm going to enable versioning uh, to my bucket. This is the place. Uh, enable this one, okay, and click on enable versioning. Click save. Proceed next. Now I've created. I'm going to create bucket with versioning enabled. It means I can upload multiple files and all that files will store as different versions okay let's see how to do that okay before that let me proceed further with creating bucket click next <coughs> and manage user by default uh, you know obviously i'm the administrator i'm the owner so i have all the permissions okay and i want to give public permission okay public readable permission you can see here object and object permissions the difference is object basically means uh, access to object okay in our case access to bucket okay object permission what permission means you know if i give permission to everyone then that everyone or people can give permission to other people as well okay that is object permissions object can give object permissions okay so anyway i'm uh, leaving it as such i'm um, you know just enabling uh, just giving readable permission for everyone okay click next now we can uh, review everything here so bucket name is pj region is london and 
version enabled here and set permission basically I have given public permission so public permission is enabled when I click on create bucket that will create bucket here so we can see a bucket name bu bucket with name which is not uh, has been created okay now let me upload file here for that click on bucket here we can see upload when I click on upload okay so anyway before that let me uh, create a new file basically I'm going to create a new uh, notepad okay so basically a text file okay let me open a notepad so I have, I have opened uh, a notepad so let me you know type something hello uh, this is the first version of code with which I am give say version one okay let me save it I'm going to save with that in desk desktop okay say file name is code with which I okay that file is saved okay let me upload that file click here and say add files and from desktop code with j open and we can see uh, the size is 50 bytes okay here uh, click next and here as well i want to give public permission public read only permission okay and obviously i have uh, the full access okay so now i've given uh, read only permission to public click next and all storage class i'm leaving it as such the default settings so if you don't have much idea about what is storage class you can uh, go and watch my introduction course on s3 so anyway uh, click next so the size is 50 bytes okay two permissions and two encryption is not enabled all that settings anyway and click upload okay now the file has been uploaded so this is where we can see the uploaded file okay let me click on that okay it will give uh, the s3 bucket link okay click on that so this is file uh, i have uploaded okay now let me go back okay and you can see uh, only one version here that is the latest version obviously we have uploaded only one uh, file one version of the file okay now let me upload uh, another version basically i'm going to modify uh, the file i have created and i'm going to upload that as well and let's see how that will behave so click on the bucket here so that will take me to here so let me modify hey i have modified the file and the version is version 2 okay so I've, I've modified the same file let me save that file saved okay now let me upload that file so you can see uh, the file says that it's 50 bytes okay let me upload add files code with which I open next i want to give public permissions given that click next next upload so you can see the file size uh, has been increased that is 108 bytes now okay now let's see the file which i have uploaded okay click here so say this is the night this is the line we have newly added so that has been uploaded successfully and we can see the changes here okay now let me go back when we click on the version here we can see two files okay if you see the uh, date and time this is the old one uploaded on this time and this is the new new file so now two version of the file has been uploaded to s3 okay if we add more versions then it will upload more versions okay 
but here we can see only one file and that size should be the latest uploaded files size okay basically the latest version so this is how we are enabling versioning in s3 okay one important thing to remember while you are solutionizing always remember uh, when you are uploading file to s3 different different file will upload because of that the size will keep increasing say you have a file of one gig okay if you're uploading 10 versions of the same file then basically you know you'll end up in minimum you know usage of 10 gigs okay so while designing or you know while solutionizing please keep that in mind okay because all all the versions of file will upload to s3 and that will consume a lot of space okay please keep that in mind okay <coughs> sorry if we want to delete uh, files from the bucket click here and click more you can click delete okay so when we click press delete so that file has been deleted and now we can see uh, the bucket is empty basically both versions of the file has been deleted okay the good thing about the good thing about uh, deleting files is you can actually restore the deleted files the way to restore uh, deleted files is here when you come to deleted objects you can see uh, the deleted files there so click on that one and click more and say undo delete okay and if you click undo delete so the delete has been uh, restored so now when we come to the bucket we can see the deleted file has been restored okay but if you delete the bucket itself say let me delete this one delete bucket so you have to give the bucket name that is vj path okay click confirm now the bucket has been deleted okay so basically if you delete the bucket then you can't restore that but if you delete files then you can restore the restore deleted files okay um, that is pretty much about uh, versioning in s3 so thank you very much for watching and the most important thing please don't forget to subscribe uh, to get notification when i'm uploading new files new uh, videos on aws thanks once again have a nice day